If you live in the city of Pittsburgh, uh, we haven't had that much as far as the amount of rain coming down and, and the storms and uh, warnings and watches as far as the severe weather goes. But boy, to the south of us, it just seems all afternoon it's been like that. Yeah, looking at the radar over there, I can see a lot of action going on. Let's turn things over to Jeff with a full check of the forecast. Jeff. All right, thanks very much. No new weather warnings to add since we spoke last. The same flash flood warnings remain in effect for parts of Washington. Green Fayette County, also parts of Westmoreland and Indiana County. A severe weather threat has ended and moving forward, we're going to continue to see some rain in the area, although it should like, likely start to lighten up in intensity as we get in for a closer look. You see everything working west to east with some lighter rain showers as you get a little further north and moving forward in time. You can still see rain on the radar, but there's a lot more green that's going to be showing up as opposed to the yellows and oranges that indicate those heavier downpours of rain. Here's the way uh, it has played out so far. Again, it's been very location dependent on how much rain has fallen. Houston, 1.26 inches of rain. Meantime, Aliquippa, just a third of an inch and a little over half of an inch of rain at the York School District in Harmony. Right now, a live picture of the city. It's mild and muggy. 70 the temperature, dew points at 67, so RH at 90 percent and wind out of the south at seven miles an hour. Our future cast indicating again the heaviest of the rain is going to start shifting out of the area in the next hour and then moving forward lighter, more scattered rain showers overnight tonight. Everything then ending by first thing tomorrow morning. Still some lingering clouds at 7 a.m. and then they'll break for some sunshine as we get toward mid to late morning and overall a drier setup not only tomorrow but the next several days. By midnight tonight, 67 is going to be the current temperature. Probably not much additional drop in the numbers overnight tonight into the mid 60s is where we'll and then in the afternoon our highs will reach the mid to upper 70s. So a more comfortable air mass with regard to temperature and humidity will move in. Again, dew point values running high this evening. Look where they're going to be as we head toward noon tomorrow. 54 will be the dew point value in Pittsburgh. So the humidity is going to come crashing down in the next 12 to 18 hours. Satellite and radar shows the evolution of the rain and a few thunderstorms. Everything now shifting further south. A cool front moving through that's going to push all the moisture to the south and east over the course of the next few hours. And then by again, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, the boundary is moving away. And along with it go the best energy and moisture and a nice drier setup. Cooler temperatures too. Heading through the weekend 64 tonight, mild and muggy, still some showers in the area, although we're going to lose the potential for any severe weather or heavy downpours as the evening progresses. Tomorrow, the high 78 clouds giving way to some sunshine, less humid on Sunday, 74 and Monday, 72 degrees. I think there could be a scattered shower in the afternoon. Shouldn't be much. And then Tuesday and Wednesday temperatures in the low to mid 70s. So nice, comfortable temps over the next five.